Hey everyone, my name is Adisha and welcome to Learn with Adisha. Today we'll find out just what it takes to generate one person or thing, I mean, one thing. Anyways, here's a plant and here's an animal, a carrot and a rabbit. Rabbits love carrots, so why isn't the carrot eaten? Anyways, this is an animal and this is a plant. They are both something called an organism. That is, well, a living thing, of course. This is a system, whatever's highlighted, it's a system. Up here, we have a shoot system, the tuber, and the rootlets. And in here, we have a digestive system, as, a, as an example. The next layer is an organ the small intestine, or a leaf, or even a stem. So this is a leaf, and this is a small, in and this is the small intestine. Inside them are tissues. We have the chlorenchyma and endothelium, the palisade parenchyma, and the palisade metophyll and spongy metophyll, along with the stoma. And here we have the endothelium, which is basically a li little hairs that absorb nutrients with blood capillaries and, lip and lymphatic vessels everywhere. Last but not least, this is what it takes to make a whole thing. Zooming in, we have the cell. In a plant cell, it's usually 200 mic micrometers on average. Chloroplast, mitochondria, cytoplasm, nucleus, vacuole, plasma membrane, and a cell wall. And an animal cell is usually 50 micrometers, having a cytoplasm, plasma membrane, nucleus, and mitochondrion. Going through it again, here is an organism. This is a system. This is an organ. This is a tissue. And this is a cell. All a tissue is, it's a set of cells that do one thing. One thing at all. Just one thing that have the same purpose. Anyways, that is all for now. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye.